Hi guys and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional videos. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I'll be guiding you through today's example problem. Today we're looking at example 12.1 determining the product of hydrolysis. So here we have a triosoglycerol undergoing a reaction with some kind of acid and water. So now what happens when you expose any ester to acid and water is the bond will break. Now let's think about that for a minute. First of all, let's circle the ester bonds. There's one ester there. There's another one. And there's another one. So we have three ester bonds in this molecule. And esters do not like being exposed to acid and water. They break apart. Now let's also consider the word hydrolysis. Or if you want to say it in a different way, hydrolysis. Water cuts or water breaks. So we're going to use water to hydrolyze the ester bonds or break the ester bonds with water. Now, here we have water. So let me redraw this molecule down here just so we can use some colors to kind of emphasize what's going on. Just going to quickly draw my triacylglycerol. There's my hydrogens there. Sorry if it gets a little messy there when I draw the hydrogens, it's just so many of them. And of course, we have our long chain hydrocarbon like that. Now, I may not have drawn enough carbons in the chain. Don't worry about how many carbons are in the chain. Just worry about the business end where the esters are. Now, let me draw three water molecules, but I'm drawing them in a different color. And the colors are important. So what I'm going to show you, I want you to look at the color to try to see what's happening here. All right, let me just draw a quick arrow like that. So the product of hydrolysis will be this. First, you'll get a molecule of what's called glycerol. And here I'm drawing glycerol. Notice it's red. It's the same color as on the left. So therefore, it really didn't change much. But now, make sure I get the same color here. I'm putting on purple hydrogens. So those hydrogens came from the water. So these purple hydrogens came from here. Plus, notice we have three hydrogens and we have three waters. So those hydrogens came from three different waters. And finally, let me get my red marker back. I'm going to put in my hydrocarbon tail there. Again, I may have missed a carbon or two on the tail. Uh, that's not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is to see what happens to the ester bond. The number of carbons in the tail certainly won't change in this reaction. Now I'm drawing the OH, so I'm drawing carboxylic acids on that carbonyl. And these OHs certainly come from this water right here. They come from the water. Okay? So, take an ester bond. Esters. There's, it's a triacylglycerol or a three ester glycerol. Water, H2O, will give you glycerol, which is what this molecule here is called. It's called glycerol plus carboxylic acids. All right, and that is what happens when you hydrolyze a triacylglycerol, you hydrolyze a fat. It takes the ester bond of the triacylglycerol and breaks it into glycerol and fatty acids. Okay, this is hydrolysis of an ester. Now I know it's complicated and it's mostly complicated because the triacylglycerols look so intimidating because they're so large. Try not to get intimidated by the size of these molecules. Try to look for the important parts, such as the ester and the triacylglycerol. And remember that esters, when reacted with water, give you alcohols and carboxylic acids. Notice glycerol has three alcohols. So glycerol is indeed an alcohol. It's actually a trial. Okay? So I remember that. That's the most important thing. 
Now again, I know this is complicated, so you may want to go to the Academic Success Center, talk to one of our many tutors there for help, or come on by and see your professor. That's what we're here for, to get extra help. This is kind of an important reaction, so you don't want to let it slide. Now with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry.